What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your week's starting out good. I had an email either yesterday, day before, within the last couple of days, and somebody asked me if I've heard about a company called... Uh, there we go. Now my camera's back to almost normal. There we go, kind of, sort of. All right, here we go. First graded company. And so I looked them up. I guess it's another grading company out there. Hmm... I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to go right to it. We're going to go right into it. There you guys go. There'll be a link in the description in case you want to check them out. But they grade cards, of course, and they sell their graded cards. But let's go first to their grading service. It says current turnaround times are less than two business days. And it looks like you can get one of three grades, 10, 9, or 8. I guess there's nothing lower than an 8. I'm not too sure because I don't see anything else on here. I would hope there's lower grades than that on to there. But 1 to 4 cards, 15 bucks a piece, 5 or more, 12. Pokemon, you see the prices. We offer volume discounts, 100 or more at a time. Download instructions, submission form there. I'm not going to go through it. They're out of Minnesota. Uh, I don't like using test or uh, the testimonials because a lot of times they're all faked up. Oh, these are all from their eBay. It looks like they sell their own graded cards on eBay. So when I looked at this originally, let me see if I can pull these up. There's what their slab looks like right there. I mean, they got their name up here somewhere on the paper. That's paper up here. The card themselves. So, kind of like a PSA holder. Kind of using the font like GMA in a way. Um, their name there, Gemin 10. Here's what I caught that I wasn't a fan of. I got it if you're going to grade your own cards and sell them, but that's very subjective when you do that. Because I went through here, and every card I look at, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, more 10s. I can see that says 10, 10. I'm betting you all these are 10s, too. Let's take a look. 10, 10, 10. I don't see anything with 9s or 8s on 10, 10. Look at that Jordan sticker, a 10. I don't know. Um, with the white there in the corner, I could see. White up here in the corner and the centering being a little bit off there. I, I don't think that's a Gem Mint 10. Not a fan of it, to be honest, because you're grading your own cards, and I see all 10s, and I can look at this Jordan sticker and tell you that's not a Gem Mint 10. And I can't even blow the picture up. I'm sure if I cut it and blow it up on another program, I'm going to see more of it to it. But I, I can see some whiting up on this corner, and I definitely see the whiting down here. So that's at least two corners, and it's off center. You can also tell by the stars down here, too. So I don't know what they're doing with it all. Somebody asked me to look at it, and I figured I'd put a video out onto it. So now we can make our own grading companies up, give ourselves all tens, and I guess throw them on eBay. I mean, that's what this is showing me by when I'm looking at this. I don't know if anybody has used this service or bought from them or whatever. I don't see how they gave this card a 10. And I mean, I probably could sit there and go through, these are all their cards for sale. And I'm sure I could find many of other things. It looks like people are buying their Otanis. But you're saying that's a gem mint 10, so that means I should be able to go to any other service and I should be getting 10s on it. We all know that's false, but regardless of what company it is, it's hard to go 10 to 10 on both companies. It really is. I've tried a bunch of times, and it doesn't always work out. Oh, there are more. Let's hit load more. Oh, I found a 9. No kidding. There's one 9. $400 for a team leader card. 
I didn't see this on here, but I see a lot of tens going the whole way down here. And I'm not going to blow up with two and three pictures, but a lot of tens. There's those uh, new ProSec card things. I guess this came out. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think offhand. I'm, I'm not going out and buying all these different companies that are coming out their cards or their grading because I just don't see a lot of their values holding up unless it's like through a group of like buddies that are doing it for each other. You know, and then you bring it out to the market and then somebody sees it. And the next thing you know, you got to be in subjective on to it that you're grading your own stuff and selling it. I got it's a way to market it, but I would not be doing this. I, I would not buy a card off of them. And I just want the Jordan being a 10. So it makes me wonder what else, you know, out there has issues to it that they're calling it a gem mint. People are thinking, yeah, I'm going to spend 350 on that gem mint 10 Jordan there. And I'm going to cross it over to PSA. And it's going to be like a $3,000 card. I, I don't know what the 9091 Fleer PSA 10s are. I'm just throwing numbers out, even at 1,000. To me, it's, it's one of those things where it's like the old fishing hook out there. You have it set with a uh, worm on to it. You're waiting for that fish to come along to, you know, hurry up and hook it and reel it in quick. I don't know. Like I said, you all let me know what you think. I'm just not a fan of it. I mean, a new company and they're just grading their own stuff and a lot of tens. And the only thing I see is the other thing that really catches me is when I went up here, when I hit grading service, 10, 9, and 8. I don't see any of the other numbers on it. I'm sure they might have them, but I guess they haven't graded anything below an 8. I mean, I did see that one 9. I take it back. I thought they were all 10s. But, you know, I probably wouldn't buy from anybody starting a company up that hasn't been grading for at least, I'm going to say at least 10 years. Because there's so much that you have to know about the industry, about the cards being authentic, then about the centering to going with, you know, where you're going to dock it at for corners, edges, surface, and all that. I'm not saying this guy might be an expert. He might have been like one of the guys who worked at Beckett to quit and decided he was going to make his own company up. I, I have no idea. There's not a whole lot on to it. I mean, other than here's the About Us. We are the world's best grading uh, card grading company. We invite you to shop our great selection of affordable cards. Our staff members are happy to assist you in finding exactly what you're looking for. If you need any assistance, we're only a phone call or email away. They said they started us in 2005. I have never, ever heard of them. Grades all cards with a fair market value of less than $100 in ungraded condition and produced after 85 Well, that would be good to put on your first page. Let me put it to you there. All Grades all cards with a fair market value of less than $100 in ungraded condition and produced after 85 Well, that takes out them not knowing how, what a, you know, a Piedmont or whatever else is out there, if it's real or fake. Yeah, I'm just not digging it at all. But you guys let me know what you think of it. I've never heard of them. They said since 2005. And I mean, I've seen a lot of slabs come through through the years. A lot. And I have never seen this one at all. Never. Maybe some of you guys have. I mean, I even remember guys opening up cases of those Fairfield products that had graded cards in. And there were cards graded that, like, I want to say they went defunct early 2000s. And I was like, wow, there's still slabs out there from this company and stuff. It shocked me. But I've never seen this at all before. Like I said, the font looked like GMA at first and everything. But, yeah, um, I, for one, won't be using them. I mean, 
I, I just can't see it at all. I've never heard of them, never seen them anywhere, never heard them talked about until somebody sent me an email about, and I looked and I seen all the tens, and I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm gonna put a video out onto it. Maybe somebody can educate me on something that I'm missing onto it, because what I'm looking at here just doesn't look good from my standpoint. But all right, everybody, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll catch y'all next video. Have a good day, good week out there. And don't forget, Overtime Live Friday night this week. Talk to y'all later.